You are first and foremost and remain a fan of the shows you used to watch and now work on. Absolutely. For example, like Big Brother. You know, I was the biggest Big Brother fan in the world. Yeah. I think everyone knew that. And then I, someone took a punt on me and I did my apprenticeship at Big Brother, hosting that for, I think, six, seven years. And yeah. I mean, the producers used to get wound up because I always used to say, I'm a fan before I'm a presenter. Yeah. But I think that's why it worked, because I think people believed me when I was talking about stuff. I say in the book, I should have lasted 10 minutes, and all of a sudden it's 10 years. Tell, tell us how come that, that's different for you, has become different for you compared to other people who, who did only have their 15 minutes I don't of know, fame. Chris. Come on, you must have thought about it. To, to be honest, everyone asks me that question, and I always just sit there and say, oh, I don't care if you're my runner or my exec producer. Yeah. I will treat everyone the same. I always have done. And last year I had a fall in my own life. I fell over. Um, And then people were there to pick me back up again because I always treated everyone with respect. So, and I think that's been my secret. I've not changed just my teeth and a couple of fillers. But (laughs) (laughs) 